that it's way harder to have a real job <laughs> and be a parent. You know, if you're working um, eight to 10 hours at a real job on a factory floor somewhere where you can't just like skip out to go take a kid to the dentist at any second, um, that's hard. <laughs> and then, you know, getting home and then going out to your second job um, that night because the first one doesn't pay the bills, that's hard. This is hard-ish. Um, so it's easy in the sense that it's tremendously flexible, right? Like I'm working from home all the time now. And so if somebody throws up, <laughs> if somebody can't go to school, um, yeah, any kind of thing comes up, I can, I can roll with the punches and deal with it. It's hard in the sense that um, I'm working here in the kitchen and I often need quiet. Um, and it stinks to say to a kid, you know, um, sorry, daddy needs to work. Please be quiet. I just hate, that makes me feel really bad when I have to say that. My kids will often kind of pop up in soft focus in the background of shots. Um, and as long as their face isn't clear, um, I'll just leave it in. <laughs> and it's just because I just don't want to have to throw them out when I don't have to, you know? Um, so there's moments when I have to throw them out or when I have to yell to their mother, help! <laughs> emergency extraction. And then it's also just the case that, you know, when you work for yourself and you have your own business when you're working from home, there's not a clear de delineation between when you're working and when you're not. You often feel a lot of pressure to always be on, you know? At any given moment, I should be doing something to advance my business, right? Is there's that constant kind of pressure in the back of your mind. And so I have to get better at creating times when I am off at home, when I'm just being dad and that is it. And I have, I've gotten a little bit better with that. I mean, when the kids come home, I generally, most days I'm able to stop working until I get them in bed. But then I have to go back to work, right? And, and I'm, I'm really working too much. You know, I, I'm, I'm staying up editing until three or four, you know, at least pretty much every other night. I'm, I stay up until about 4 a.m. editing. But that does do things to you physically that are problematic. And it's different from like a normal office job where like, yeah, you're on the computer here, but then you're picking up the phone, then you're getting up to go get coffee or to go to a meeting or something like that. That breaks it all up. But when you're editing video or doing animation or kind of one of those things, like what you are doing is this for 14 hours. This is very successful um, money-wise. And so I probably just need to think about just hiring an editor, but I, I, I don't, it's it, giving up control would be very hard for me.